Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Final Step here, or you can just call me Daniel. Today I am going to show you how to create this. I got uh, this idea from this site which is called dropcode.com and they actually created it and gave the download for the After Effects project but I just wanted to explain the basic setup they did there and and how they actually got the this very nice 3D look of 3D balls which are actually particles. For this tutorial you need a trap code form. If you don't have this plugin you can just download the free trial from Red Giant site and follow the tutorial. I'm also going to give a link uh, for an After Effects project I created using uh, this technique but instead of using trap code form I used trap code particular and created some other you can call it nice abstract movement of particles that actually looks 3D and they are not really 3D and you maybe can find a use for it and and you can explore the setup I did there so you can find the link for the download in the description of this tutorial so let's get started first of all open up After Effects and let's create a new composition Control N and let's name this composition Sphere and the width will uh, will be 100 and the height will be 100 as well 30 frames per second and the duration will be 10 seconds long now click OK to confirm the creation of the composition we will turn the transparency grid on so it will be easier for us click Ctrl Y to create a new solid it doesn't matter what color it is just uh, call it sphere click OK to confirm the creation. By the way, uh, make sure it is comp size. So click make comp size and now go to your effects and presets panel and type CC sphere oops sphere and apply this effect to the solid. Now you can see some change here and what you have to do is decrease the radius of the sphere to like 30 and you can see a sphere that has been created of the sphere somewhere around here now we have to play a bit with the lightning of the sphere with the shading the highlights so go to the shading and increase the ambient Let's just type uh, 60 and uh, decrease the diffusion, the diffuse, sorry, 50, maybe a bit less, 25, yes it will work fine, maybe increase a bit the ambient, it depends on uh, how you want it uh, to be, brighter or darker, uh, you can also increase the specular which is going to give you this shiny dot right here just like it so I'm going to stay with the setup now choose this layer and go to effect perspective and apply drop shadow effect uh, increase the distance of the drop shadow to like 20 25 maybe maybe 35 it will be okay and increase the softness maybe we are going to decrease the distance a bit 25 and we will stay with 25 it will work okay now after we have created this let's create a new composition control N and call it main form and the width will be 1920 by 1080 
the frame rate will be the same and the duration the same click OK to confirm the creation shut down the transparency grid click Ctrl Y to create a new solid make comp size call it form I will make this solid black but it really doesn't matter you can make any color you want go to effect drop code and drop code form now this is the basic look of the drop code form plugin you can see it is a 3d effect here's preview of how it looks now you can see it 3d so let's start with uh, setting everything go to your base form and increase the size X, Y and Z to be like 500 each now you can see here in the preview window we got bigger distance between those plates um, now in the particles and X uh, decrease it to something around 10 do the same in particles in Y and the particles in Z will we have to increase to around 10 now you can uh, create a new camera just uh, right click and a new camera those settings will be ok and just rotate it around to see it is really 3D we will see it uh, much better in a second so go again to your form layer and go to your particle go back to your project menu and take your sphere composition that you have created before make it invisible go back to your form layer effect control and under the particle section particle type choose custom colorize now you can choose some layer in this composition which will be your particle source under layer choose your sphere you can't really see the sphere because the size is because the size of the particles is really small so we have to increase it something around 25 now we can see that we got 3d cube made of spheres but it is really weird and it doesn't look at all like it looks like it looks here solid 3d uh, 3d particles so the problem is the transfer mode is add we have to change it to normal and then you can see it looks solid you can rotate it using your camera now I want to explain something those particles are not really 3D it looks like it because drop code form makes those particles to always face the camera that's why it looks like 3D but it not really is but you don't have to care because it still looks good and just don't think about it but I just wanted to point this out so you know you don't lie to yourself now let's give it uh, some abstract look by increasing the size random let's make it like 25 mm. yes it will be okay now let's get to the main part the main part is actually the movement of the particles the scaling up and down as you have seen in the preview before to do it go to your fractal field options and increase the effect size to around 65 or 60 it depends on how strong you want this effect to be now you can see this abstract look like they had in their project 
you can use your camera to rotate this 3d scene you can see it is really getting organic abstract look so I'm going to stay with this angle now let's colorize it a bit and uh, then go back to to the movement to colorize it like they did um, we are actually going to go to quick maps and under color map go to X what you're actually doing is uh, telling form to colorize your form over the X axis using this preset you can choose any preset that you want or maybe create one of your own but I'm going to stay with this one because that's what they used and it really looks cool with it so you can also choose to map it over the Y axis the z-axis and radial each of those options are giving you different look each of those looks are very is very unique and you can use it for your own purposes I'm going to stay with the X <laughs> so now let's get uh, back to our fractal field After we have set the effect size to to this number, 65, maybe a bit less, a bit more, it depends on how you like it. Let's increase the flow X to be around 100. The flow Y to be minus 30. And the flow Z minus 30. So it gives you just a little bit more movement and, you know, some more abstract look let's increase the displace and see what happens so you see when you increase the displace those particles they are actually losing their place as a 3d cube which is a very you know neat and uh, there is no mess in it but it really looks like mess so you can add displace to get some more abstract look I'm going to make it like 10 because you know 270 is really crazy let's also decrease the F scale to something around 5 so the waves you get is uh, more smooth not so big as you have seen before you can choose any value you want just make it look uh, the way you like it you can also change the complexity and you will get each time different look let's change the angle of the camera to look at it from the top maybe change, maybe decrease a bit uh, the F scale uh, maybe we will increase a bit the effect size to like 75 yeah it will be okay now I want to explain another small thing as you might remember we have added the drop shadow here and this drop shadow is very important because you can see those particles they have like this little shiny dot here it means that there should be a light source somewhere here in the top corner which means each of those spheres should give shadow to the spheres beneath it so this drop shadow it actually gives us this look which there is really a light source and there is really it gives you more realistic 3d look 
that's what I'm trying to say it is very important to use this drop shadow let's now create a background for the scene just double click on the rectangle tool and it creates for us a shape layer let's increase it I am using a radial gradient and go to the fill options to change it and you can choose linear gradient or just solid color but I prefer to use radial gradient in your fill color you can change the colors your gradient is using you can make them to any colors you want and now let's grab this dot you should put the brighter area right up here because it actually makes sense so the light source is again somewhere here and the light is falling in this direction on our particles our fake 3d particles let's name this layer BG and put it here so you can see your form now you can see your particles are making shadows on each other I will add drop shadow to the form layer so just choose your form layer go to effect perspective drop shadow and increase the shadow distance to 15 no, uh, or not 15 200 maybe yes it is better like this maybe 150 maybe 200 is just too much and increase the softness to like 100 so you get really soft shadow 200 yes 200 is fine now it looks uh, more realistic so that's the basic setup they did there you can download this their project from their site I'm going to give a link for it in the description you can just download it you can also download a an AE project that I uh, also link linked in the description there are some other options that you can create using particular actually using this technique of a uh, fake 3d balls and um, so you can uh, check the setup there the interface please check out my uh, other videos in my youtube channel please subscribe comment rate everything if you haven't already also please check my video hive account i have some uh, after effects intros and the uh, full lens projects like commercials here so thank you for watching this tutorial it was final step and see you next time.